Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here I am with my first Bionicle Generation 1 review. Well, first one. One in a quite a long, in quite a while. So, as you probably saw, I did do some um, a little while ago, but then, uh, which also did Hero Factory and other themes, but, so kind of took a little break, of course, but, here I am, but do have plenty more coming up, so expect the, uh, all the rest every other Throwback Thursday, of course. So we're starting out with, so starting with uh, Toamata Gali and also Kopaka from 2001, of course. So I'll start out with the caster for of Gali, which is the only caster entry I have here. So on the, this one side of which we have of Gali in a position of climbing up a rocky wall, of course, and also the old style Bonk logo there, and also the Lego Technic logo. Since at this time is when Bonkle was part of Technic, and then the following year went off as its own theme. And then recommend ages is seven and up, as uh, three five pieces, and set number eight five three three. And on this other side, of which have barcode, usual warnings, and also it says that it has a little poster, and also being able to put the character of the caster, and also uh, Golly's name on there, and also the uh, Unity Duty Destiny symbol, of course, and also a little add of, of the character and the mask of efforts, but also there's this little swivel thing that you can do with these. Uh, and see all the rest of the Toa. And all the rest of the Toa, who I have which previously reviewed for Throwback Thursday. And so check the card up there to see my other reviews on them. But yeah. Oh, also, a little hint of the storyline down here. So of course, plenty of good stuff going around on these canister. So even though this was just for the first year, but and of course, and of course these top parts of which, which do have a, a Toamata face on it, and also plus rod sim, to, uh, kind of whole bits to put all the heads on to and form the Toa Suvaha, of course. And of course, hands is off and hollow space in there. And of course, kind of fitting to the actual ones that the Toa arrive in on Matanui. So of course, nice to see something of the storyline represented here, but yeah. So that is it with the cancer. And now to the instruction manual for Golly. You can see the same picture as the cancer, of course. But you can see a little bit more going on, but yeah. Front page of which is a little extra of the storyline. Plus Bonacle.com, which is no longer active, of course. And on the back side is putting all the heads on the lid part, forming the Toa Suva and all the masks of all the Toa that there are. Then in the center bit are also instructions for the Toa Kaita Werua. And of course, and of course, these kind of cool guys, kind of cool builds they were, and also the steps of which booklets to of each set to get but yeah but also with golly and not sure if this came with is this is for just my copy or maybe just i got it anyways but whatever there's this little poster kind of thing that uh, which shows some of the storyline and also a synopsis of each toa of all the toa well, it's over and over in other languages. And definitely pause and read if you want to. And backside of which is all the different masks to collect a full Toa and Taraka one. And find the power. And 72 plus, which is probably for the mask at time. But of course it did get plenty of more copies of it in the Vlaki sets in 2004. So it wasn't very rare, of course. Anyway. But of course, some of these are quite rare, so good luck finding them if you can, but yeah. 
So first stop is Bugali, of which they made Toil of Water, of course. And of course, although she is the only female one of the Toas, of course, but at least she which does well hold up to all the rest. And of course, the color scheme of consisting of blue, light blue, or kind of oddish light blue and black, with a little light gray here and there, since of course it's what they were at the time. Oh, let me zoom in. So her feet, which are just the average basic Toamata feet, but in this bright blue coloring, of course. And then for the leg pieces, which also the same pieces for that, but in odd blue. But however, her position of it is just like Onua's, where it's in this position instead of being upside down, which we'll see on Kopaka, of course. And also, odd thing is, as you see, the same torso body piece as all the rest, but if you notice, is on the sides are the extra technic pins on here, mostly for contri cons yeah. contributing to the uh, con combiner model of Rerua. But although I think they kind of work out for her in some ways, but yeah, and also, and if you notice, have a, a hand connector piece in blue. And of course, she was only set of the original Toa to have one in any color aside from black. So kind, of, so kind of it need to see that outside of the throw bots, of course. And as for her arms, which a basic one piece to that, but however, with one of which is where the hook kind of slides in and out easily. Or a little hint is if you get like pincher pliers, just pinch it just a little bit, and then you can secure the mitten more. Uh, and also, as you can see, the uh, connector bit at the shoulders, kind of reminiscent of some of the other Tawas, like Tahu and Dai, maybe also uh, Onua, but yeah. But, and also, and also kind of like Onua, where, it had, where she had both of the same arm pieces, but instead of claws, actual large hooks. And of course, these hooks, which did come in a lot of other sets, but in various colors. Of course, I have a couple of pistons on there and two uh, holes on the sides. And so, and, but then, so now onto the head and mask, which the head part, which is just about basically the same headpiece as most other, as all the sets of 2001 through 3 all were. Right, and also her uh, brain stock piece, which kind of a little darker or yellow color than Lee was, or different kind of tone than Lee was, but Lee was was a brighter translucent and uh, yellow. This is a little darker one. Seems to differentiate a bit, but as for her mask, the Kanoe Cow Cow Mask of Water Breathing, which I think well suits for her, and uh, which looking quite feminine, which kind of suiting to her. I guess he has these couple of large uh, bulges that are supposed to be like water breathing parts and of course the large visor bit that represent that is supposed to be like a scuba goggles since she's a water character. And also on the inside which which not sure if you can notice a bit. Well if I like focus it as there's nine dash MA of course with that and also with the corresponding code on the canister there is makes a full code and does fit in quite well and of course on the back of which have the gear functions which lead to the arms And there's a zoom out of it. Which I turn that and it makes her arms squish up and down like so. So of course, 
quite good for how she was, but at least until she was improved, got improvements over the next following years. And of course, kind of skimpy right here, but like, since she's a female, you don't expect much uh, bulkiness. But yeah, but of course, same kind of happened with Kina in uh, Glatorian Legends of so 2009, but yeah. And I guess that's about it with Golly. And now on to Kopaka, the witch Torah of Ice, but also one of my favorite characters of of, ba of all Bonacle, of course. And of course, built similarly to that of both Tahu and Liwa, or just Tahu, of course. And so, as for the legs of which, let me move these out. Which quite as basic as every other Tolamata set, but with with the foot pieces in white and also the leg pieces in light gray instead of dark gray like we had on Onua. Uh, and of course same position as all the all the rest of the sets, but Onua and Gali had it, them upside down. And that was for the uh, main body part. Which is same exact piece as all the Toamata and Toanuvas kind of did, but in white, as you can see. But also, same exact uh, ball joint bit on the front, like we had with Tahu and Liwa. And of course, just to contribute to the combiner models. That was obviously. And also, if you notice, the arms are quite asymmetric. But of course, that's still fair. Whereas <laughs> this one arm, which does have that same exact uh, throwbot piece like we saw on Liwa and uh, Pohatu, but in light gray. And also, like Golly, had also a, a hand connector piece, but in white instead of black. So he and Golly kind of stood out for that, of course. And of course, this. First time I've ever seen this piece used for a hand, which carried on into all the rest of Bionicle, of course. But also, as you can see, has his important shield, which you would probably know as like the a satellite dish in the classic space Lego lines, and like with the four studs on there, which probably makes it makes him and Pohatu the only ones that had a regular Lego assistant piece in the set include with the sets of course but however this can spin a little, well kind of a little bit at least and of course this were scrawl from 2009 also got that idea but his shield a lot larger and cooler for, but yeah and as for this other arm same exact piece arm piece as some of the other a uh, few other Talamata sets also had and but in light gray and then leading to his important ice sword, which we did see in a couple other sets as well, but different colors, but this case in white. Oh, hang on. Okay. But of course, as you see, playing the detailing on it, like a few little connector points. Although, not sure this, but I think it's uh, what I would suggest is maybe reuse this piece on a 2015-16 versions Kopaka, but or maybe even have something similar to that. But they didn't. But at least a 2016 uh, Kopaka reboot had a little, something a little bit different to that. But yeah, but that's just me. But now on to the head and mask of him. Which, as you can see, which looks quite a bit, which quite neat, like with the uh, one eye showing on there, and also the scoping parts of it, and of course, plenty of venting as well. And also, if I take it on, and then same exact headpiece as the other sets, all the sets had, but the eye stock piece in bright blue, kind of which suits all the white ice characters of Bionicle, of course. But all, all over the mask itself. Of course, the design 
and it ends up quite similarly, which the look of it also carry on into 2015 reboot version Kopaka. Uh, but of course it has the old style connection when that other had the prongs on the sides, but yeah. But one weird thing is that since this scope on this side carried on into that those two versions and Kopaka Nuva of 2002. But however, 2008 Fantoka version, it was actually switched to the other side since that kind of design caught came from like New Geometry, of course. But yeah, but also kind of odd factor that was. But yeah. As on the back side, as you see how the arms are positioned is kind of flatly, also like Lee was, but yeah, but also how his gear function, which of course kind of mounted in this way, like we have with both Tahu and Pohatu, where one's, or in Pohatu's case, legs, but however, in both of these two cases, was once fixed in when one has the movement. And of course, if I turn that, and it makes the arm swish up and down like so. And of course, one of the things that Bonacle was always been known for, the gears. Oh, also forgot to mention is for the mask code right on there. Is V-33. So now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are quite cool sets, it's both for the time and also still well old up for that, since of course they do have a, a one little hand connector bit that is in different color, then a little different than the other Toamata sets, but and also the way Golly's legs are built like, well, at least it's good to see some bit of variation, well, even though that's also on Onua, of course. And of course, both of which do have good consistent color schemes and, and of course, rightful gear functions. And of course, Golly's a witch, that she a witch, that her being kind of thin and all, which work, perf works out perfectly for her being the only uh, female of the bunch, but yeah, which of course carried on to all of Bionicle, of course, but yeah. And really, and also, although they did kind of lessen that with the later versions of both sets, but yeah. Uh, oh, what else? And of course, for the $7 they were back in 2001, it's also quite good. You know, they may be worth quite a bit in, in, like nowadays, like with inflation and all, but at least they're still quite good deals for how they are, but yeah. So, and of course, nice to see a clear mask with Golly, of course, even though each versions of the Kanoe Cow Cow were oftentimes in translucent versions of, as well. Unfortunately, the gold and silver variants, which were just solid colors instead of translucent, but at least they were still kind of workable, but yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.